shabby coat with many deep pockets, intertwined with the torn lining of this coat, lived the stories of our family. Uncle Philip was a Luftmensch, a man who seemingly lived on air his whole life, wandering the earth, searching for love. He arrived in America, having escaped Russian pogroms in deep, relentless poverty. I was a child when Uncle Phil loomed like a mystery in the night, traveling from far-off places, the end of the world, Coney Island. He would stand silhouetted in the doorway, announcing his arrival with a bevy of shopping bags filled with novelties. He would keep his coat with him at all times. It was his clothing and shelter. Weekends in the summer, when Coney Island exploded in light and sound, I would see my uncle selling bras and fountain pens in the shadows of Steeplechase Park, the Wonder Wheel, Stouch's Baths. He was the clown of the family, a nearly homeless lost man, yet to me he was the king of Coney Island, the champion of my dreams. He was a moving relic of the diaspora, marching under the boardwalk, sifting through the cool sand, looking for coins soda bottles, instant redemption. Gone now so many years, I often see him wavering beneath a street lamp, holding to a nibble-down stogie, squinting at me through his cracked, heavy bifocals. Who you? he'd say with his heavy Russian-Yiddish accent. You, Rudy's boy? <laughs> 